the streets have remained busy, uncharacteristic of an increase in the pump price of petrol in the past. Apprehension quickly gives way to despair inside this transporter's office. The staff are livid at the turn of events in the country, one they say bites the very core of their businesses. How come it's not in my business? Even me as a whole is affecting me. Going home and coming back. I don't have much I'm paying. So I'm what's the way forward? Forward. So you just ask her. They would have engaged us in like a communication, you know, period. It's not just I just woke up one day, I saw that the prices of fuel has been increased. No. In the heat of the moment, efforts to know their names are resisted. They instead refer us to a higher authority. He tells me the hardship persists with the fuel price increase, but more can be done by the government to cushion it in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. We, we take a lot of people off the government's neck. We do employ, and the government is not supporting us at all. Passengers who make use of interstate and international transport by bus say all is not well at this time. There's a lot of financial burden on a few persons who are working, so increased fuel price because of the coronavirus effects would not be the wise thing to do. Yellow bus operators also feel the pain. So do interstate transporters, some in this park in Ojota. Many of the drivers recline to speak as others looked on in a seeming state of depression. Others, however, stutter in a dialect as students home for now due to the pandemic lament. There is no money. The economy is very tight and hard. Even we there, we are the are undergraduate. There's no sign that to show there's no sign to show that when we graduate tomorrow there will be a job for us. So I think the government should do something to try to bring the fair price down. We sought to speak with the Transport Union Workers Chairman in Lagos in a mission that proved futile. The struggle but victory. But victory. For now though. The NLC negotiates with the government for a truce, giving a September 28th deadline to down tills if prices don't revert. Until that happens, transporters including buses, taxis and bikes that have not increased their fares will be left with no choice than to act otherwise. Gimba Umar, Channels Television News.